Hi, this is Cyberhorn92 here. Hope everyone have a wonderful day. And I'm here, a special guest. And what did you do at this re uh, regional since yesterday? Uh, yesterday, I won um, our first uh, in a lot of time in person regional. So I played prank kids and I ended up undefeated after eight rounds of Swiss. Wow, congrats, um, Caesar. And what regional um, was it? Uh, well, I live in Costa Rica, so it was uh, Central America regionals here. Ooh, nice, nice. All right, and ready when you are. Okay, so uh, I played uh, Brain Kids with the Brave Engine, also DPE package. This is a 40-card list, so, yeah. Uh, so I decided to play two of each name, just uh, two Lampsies, two Dropsies, two Fancies, and two Roxies. And also uh, two places. So uh, a total of 10 names. Mm -hmm. I think it's good enough for 40 cards. You, you have a, a pretty good chance of seeing just one kit. Because you don't really see like too many. Right? Because mm -hmm. one is just enough usually. That's true. Yep. Uh, so I, I just played one Pandemonium because it's kind of like a brick. You don't want to see it. Especially because I'm not running the rocket ride. So it's really not an extender like it used to be. So now it's just an engine requirement. Um, I also played the one pranks. It's it's needed. So it's like twelve prank kit cards. Then for the brave engine, pretty standard. I played triple enchantress, the one griffin, triple ride of Messier, uh, faithful, Drakeback, and also foolish burial, so that I can send the enchantress and have like an extra copy of it. Um, then I have the DP package, just the two destiny heroes and the two uh, destiny fusion. I also decided to play uh, one Illusion of Chaos and one Magician Souls as extenders. They are pretty good because uh, after you get nipped, it's a pretty good card to have. So you can end on Anaconda. And also, like it, it gives you access to the Dark Charmer, which is really important in this format, I think. And finally, the going second cards, 12 hand traps. So 3 Ash Blossom, 3 Ghost Bill. 3 Effect Veiler, and uh, triple copies of Infinite Impermanence. So that's it for the main deck. Uh, you want to see the side deck or the extra deck first? Uh, whichever you want. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, we can do extra deck. So, uh -huh. the one Meow Meow, we can only play one. Uh, two Dodos, uh, I was going to play three of them, but I needed some room for other cards, so I decided to just play two of them, and it was just, just enough. Yeah, if you know how to manage your resources, usually two is enough. Uh, and then the one Bowbark, and for the Prank Kids Fusion, so the one Water Washer, and a Battle Butler. So that's it for the Prank Kids. Also, I played uh, two Anacondas. I feel like this is needed because sometimes you can like bait your opponent into like activating their nip as soon as they see Anaconda. So if you have an, an extender after the nip, you can turn both tokens into link spiders, and you can go for the second anaconda. And sometimes they don't expect that. And I think it's pretty pretty good to have. Then, uh, to make my tokens effect monsters, I play one Link Kuribo and two uh, Link Spiders. Link Kuribo is not really that standard, but I think it's good because it gives you access to the Dark Charmer. Um, so, of course, the Dark Charmer, pretty good. Then for Link Climbing, I have a Unicorn, Access Code for OTK, and finally the uh, DP. Through the staple? Yeah. Yep. Um, and then... Um, oh, yeah. Yep, you have... A um, mm -hmm. yeah, couple of questions. Um, was there a time you... Uh, uh, I was surprised um, you don't play No Toy Awesome. What was the reason why you don't play Dark Card? Which one, sorry? Uh, totally Awesome. Oh, um, well, since I'm just playing uh, two of each prank kit, mm -hmm. it's it's usually hard to like end on like two uh, double dropsies mm -hmm. because you normally have to use one of them to fuse, and so you have just one left in your deck. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of hard to end on, on both of the dropsies on the field. Oh, it's kind of sense. good, but I feel like the extra egg is pretty tight. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, decided not to play it, but it could be a good, a good option mm -hmm. if you're playing like three copies of each prank kit. Okay, that makes sense. Yep. Uh, finally, for the side deck, I decided to play the Gamma Package. Uh, at first, I was going to play Drawn Logbird, but uh, 
I was kind of afraid of the Flounder matchup, so I thought that Jordan Lockbird doesn't really work on their shifter, but this card does. So even if they have shifter, uh, you can still gamma them, and probably that's going to stop their turn, so you don't lose to, like, shifter. It's that's not true. that hard. No. <laughs> Yeah, because, uh, you know, you're already losing to Shifter, so you don't want to, like, lose more to it, right? Yeah, that's true, that's true. Um, then, Triple Nibiru, like, this card is really not that good this format, but against certain decks, you kind of need it. So, yeah, I played three of them. Uh, two Diddy Crow, especially for the Despia matchup, because if you, like, banish their branded in red target, the card doesn't resolve. And that's pretty impactful in that matchup because you really need your normal summon to be able to play. So by stopping the branded in red, you can at least try to break their board. Uh, then uh, triple twin twisters, basically for back row decks like Eldlick or any kind of rogue strategy. And also against Flounder, it works because you can like pop their field spell and the trap during the standby phase so that they cannot play during your turn. And finally, for going first, uh, I played triple copies of Solemn Judgment. I was debating on playing this card or triple tactics talents, but I ended up playing Solemn. I'm not really sure about which one is the correct option, mm -hmm. but this one really worked for me. That's true, that's true. So, yep, that's it for the side deck. Yep, um, before ending this video, um, what, do, you, do you remember what was your matchup since yesterday? Yeah, uh, so r round one I played against pure Sky Striker, like a uh, going second version. Mm -hmm. Then round two I played against um, Sky Striker with Brave Token Engine. Uh, round three I played against Flowandries. Round four it was against the uh, Sword Soul, like Sword Soul Tenji. Mm -hmm. Round five I played against Despia, and then the last three rounds were against uh, Sword Soul Tenji again. That was the most popular deck yesterday. Oh wow! So yeah, I was surprised. Yeah, so I. Gun. I played four changes so in total, uh, you know, for the tournament. Wow, that, that's crazy. That's good that you prepare for those matchups because usually I thought there were going to be more Despio player, most likely. Yeah, uh, here we, we don't really have a lot of Despio players. We just have like a few. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I, I was thinking that there were going to be a, a lot more, mm -hmm. but it seems like it's not really that popular right now. <laughs> it's, it's, people are starting to, to just play it, but not a lot of people have it here. Yeah, that's true, that's true. And one last final um, question before ending this video. Do you want to give any shoutouts before ending this video? Yeah, I want to sh uh, give shoutouts to my team. Uh, we are called uh, Tramatsuki here in Costa Rica. So, yeah, all of my friends who helped me to test. So, yeah. Alright, sounds good. Thank you for the deck profile, man. Hopefully to see you more in the future, man. Congrats for getting first place at the recent regional at Puerto Rico. Is that correct? Uh, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. It's... Yeah, that's what I meant yeah. to say. Your boy, Starborn92, is signing out. Peace.